How are you guys? Today I'm going to talk about Dustboss IP65 digital protractor. As we usually do, we implemented the craft paper to build the box. And now we're going to open it and see what's inside. So first come up is a two years warranty letter. an instruction book for our digital device two batteries for our device and here is our protractor so firstly I'm gonna talk about its outlook here is a V-type magnetic base which can fix on the work table that bring you guys more stability. On the back of it, here is a battery cover and with a rubber ring inside, which can prove from the water. And now I'm going to talk about its function. So firstly, we could see there's there are three buttons on the device and uh, firstly we turn it on we just press the red button the on and off and now the LCD screen starts displaying and firstly I'm going to introduce the hold button you just press it for like once you can see the edge symbol on the LCD screen which can the value whenever you move it the value will stick on the LCD screen and you just press it again you could quit this mode secondly we are going to talk about the sound function as you could hear the sound beeper starts beeping because we're close to the zero angle that means we're close to the le level and if we wrote like this and when we go close to plumb angle the beeper starts beeping again that means this device has the function that when you go close to the level or plumb angle the device beeper will beep like very fast and if we want to quit this mode just press the sound button and for like three seconds it stops next I'm gonna talk about the relative button on the right The first thing to tell is that the device is a absolute measurement device. That means when we just see this device on the work table, it shows the value of the absolute angle that of the work table. So when we press the red button, just like once, it can show the relative function up on the LCD screen and now I'm gonna turn it off and show you guys how to do a relative measurement with this device so firstly I'm setting up setting it on the work table and now I'm press the relative button you can see the symbol and now the value goes to zero and we set our device on another base now you can see the relative value between these two faces and now we just press the red button quit the relative measurement mode on the other side here's a transfer button you could transfer from the degree 
percent slope and pitch. You press it once, you transfer once. So, and now let's take a look at the LCD screen. If I press and hold the transfer button for like three seconds, the backup light shows up. And if you want to turn it off, just press the button and hold for like three seconds again. One thing to mention, if you are not using this device for like 30 seconds, the light will turn it off automatically. The last thing to tell is calibration. But I have to tell you guys, this device, all the device, before it goes to your hand, is calibrated. So if you drop it or break it, you should calibrate it. But if you didn't, just set like the same. Keep the original set. But today I'm gonna introduce how to calibrate it. We just press these two buttons together. And there's a one shows on this LCD screen. And we press the red button again. The one starts blinking. After it stops blinking, there's a two shows on this LCD screen. And now we rotate it horizontally. Press the red button again. The, two, the number two on the LCD screen will blink like the same. And now the calibration ends. The device is calibrated again. And that's all. That's all for our introduction. Thanks for watching. Here's Dasqua.